So when you're splitting it, what you want to do is you want to head to the center, try to stay out of the ash layers here, as you can see the different colors. So you go for the center. Slowly put your knife in until you can start to see the crack here. Or sometimes it'll come back here too. Of course you can never get it right the first time, so it'll always chip. See the crack slowly moving around the corner. Oh yeah, yeah. Just keep working your way around. As the crack gets too far down, you're gonna have to rotate it. You just keep going around the piece till you, usually when it starts to crack open you can feel a sudden pop. Oh there it goes, yes. Chunk of looks like bark or leaf there. Oh yeah, yeah. Not much there, but just different sedimentary layers, layers that have split apart. Okay. So if it cracks on you and you didn't get as beautiful as you wanted, you can go back to the original crack. Try to head the other direction, or try to bust it sometimes, but... Oh, there's a beautiful leaf fossil right there, yes. So if you watch it, after a while it'll turn black because it oxidizes. Right now it's kind of reddish. Yes. Okay. So there's all the fall colors and then sometimes you, occasionally you will get a green one. Wow. I thought they were all just black, but those are the ones that have been sitting out for a while. Yes, because there was an, because it was an anion. Oh, look at that. Wow. Another trick that you can do is if you, you can assume the edge of the leaf, you can take your knife and you can just pop them away. Wow. I might try that on some of them. So, okay. And then with a piece like this, if you, freeze, if you try to cool it, it'll crack. So your best bet is to go wide around the leaf and chop it out, split it thinner, roughly, mm -hmm. and then use that as your piece. Ah. So, there. Okay, Down. yes, thank you, Riley Keenbaum at Fossil Bowl south of Clarkia, Idaho. Thank you very much.